And now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. And welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Great program today. Call with your car questions at 888 Car Clinic. Folks, When it comes to a family car, there's no such thing as one size fits all. And with in-vehicle technology constantly evolving and safety always top of mind, it could be challenging to find the perfect match for you and your family's needs. Luckily, Kelly Blue Book just released its, get this folks, best family cars of 2018. And on the hotline with me now is Mike Amusio, the managing editor at Kelly Blue Book, who will reveal who topped the list for best in safety, comfort, technology, and drivability. Micah, that's a mighty tall order. Welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Glad to have you in the house. Bobby, always fun to talk to you. And, yeah, let's talk a little bit about family cars for 2018. I know you're a guy who knows a lot about cars, but uh, if you haven't bought a car in the last year or two or three, uh, you know, uh, your, your viewers and listeners uh, aren't familiar with the uh, automotive landscape as it, it exists now, They're, you're going to be blown away by all the technology that's available on new vehicles that can really help out if you're a parent, like I am. I've got a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, and a lot of this stuff really uh, matters to me. Like, for example, can I give you a scenario? Absolutely. So uh, let, let's say you're walking out of the supermarket and you've got uh, a toddler in one arm and a bag of groceries in the other, and you walk up to your vehicle with no more hands to open up the uh, car. Uh, Chrysler has a really neat feature, which is an automatic power sliding uh, side door setup. Basically, it senses the key in your pocket. You just kick a foot at the side of the vehicle, and that slide, side, sliding side door will just power right open. And that's the kind of super Super convenient feature that I I really wish my car had. Well, to that end, and you mentioned the technology, uh, I I bought a new car in 2013. I leased that car, Micah, because I thought that by 2016, which is three years, they would change the body style. They they did not, but the electronics continue to evolve, and I really, I'm waiting for the body to change because I like my car, but I want newer technology because of the safety factor and because of the convenience. And that leads me to, to ask, how do you choose the the best cars for families? We know uh, at Kelly Blue Book, we test essentially every vehicle every year. So we've got a, a broad base of automotive knowledge. And from that base of automotive knowledge, um, we, we look through for vehicles that, um, you know, express uh, one, value. That's something we always think about at Kelly Blue Book. Um, two, versatility. We want an interior that is accommodating for uh, carrying around people and stuff. Um, you know, how easy is it to get, you know, uh, little kids into the third row? How easy is it to install car seats? Can you put a car seat in the second row without uh, compromising front seat legs? room. Uh, all of those things, you know, uh, come, come to our mind when we think about uh, family cars. And then, of course, safety, as, as, uh, as you mentioned, that, um, you know, not only will me and my family survive the impact, but what technology is available so we maybe never get into an impact? I think that's one of the big areas where we're seeing uh, improvements uh, that, you know, I think family, people who are looking for a good family car um, are really going to see benefits. So what are some of the top tech and safety features that we'll see in 2018? And then I have another question with regard to, uh, of all of the safety features, for example, uh, and this is old hat now, the ABS system, everyone's familiar with ABS, and that's, I think, mandated. Do you see, and this is a secondary Mm -hmm. question, do you see the mandation or the mandated uh, safety items going forward on all lines versus some of the, say, luxury lines. But let, let, fill us in on the, on the safety features of the 18 models. Yeah, let's talk safety a little bit. Uh, you know, you hit on a really important point, which is the uh, the technologies that are mandated. So now, if you sell a car uh, starting in 2018, it has to have a backup camera. That's uh, a given, um, which is, I think, a great bit of technology. In fact, any t- on the rare occasions I drive a car that does not have a backup camera, I'm sort of baffled that that's a way we used to back <laughs> I'm up. With you, the I'm with you like there. moving around, you know, several tons of automobile without knowing where we're going exactly. and being able to see. Uh, in that direction is kind of crazy to me. But, um, you know, in terms of safety tech, uh, where the future is going is through more cameras and uh, greater spatial awareness. 
So, for example, if you look at the Chevrolet Equinox, which is a compact SUV on our family car list, they make available a 360-degree camera system. And the way that works is they put cameras around the vehicle, and it creates it, it stitches them together and creates an image that's almost like looking down from uh, above the vehicle and shows you the entire space around it, and that's displayed on the infotainment screen in the dash. And that's such a helpful bit of technology because – uh, if, for example, a tricycle rolls out and is right near your back tire, uh, you will see that. Uh, it also just makes parallel parking a lot easier. So I think as time goes on, we're going to see more and more cameras and uh, you know, get more and more um, awareness for the driver. On the other end of the spectrum, um, you've probably noticed <laughs> driving around, some drivers aren't all that attentive. Really? Uh, you, know, you might see people who are on their phone or are distracted, especially as a parent. You know, you've got screaming children in the back. That's very distracting. So um, I think where we're going to see technology go in terms of what is required uh, is a little bit of what we're seeing um, you know, from, let's say, Honda. They have a Honda Sensing suite of active safety assists, and that appears on uh, all of their vehicles. Um, but you know, in particular, let's talk about the Honda Odyssey a little bit. That's their minivan. They make Honda Sensing uh, standard on all but the lowest LX trim, so it's widely available. And what that technology does it can detect when the vehicle departs its lane, even if the driver's not paying attention. And not only will it warn the driver, but it can automatically steer the vehicle back into its lane, which is uh, a pretty amazing bit of technology that, again, if you haven't bought a car in the last few years, you may not know that that's a thing that cars can do. Um, and it can also detect an impending collision. So uh, if, you're, if you're distracted or not paying attention and a car suddenly stops up ahead of you, the, the Honda Odyssey will beep at you, tell you to brake, and if you don't, it can brake automatically on, on your behalf. I have to ask you this question. Micah, have you driven uh, one of those cars that has the automatic so stopping feature personally? Oh, absolutely I have. And I will say some of the earlier versions were not as good as the versions we have now. Well, that's a strange feeling. Uh, I, I drove a, a, a Kia K900 that had some of these features. It was a 15 model year. And uh, I, I got to share with you, I was apprehensive about, well, will it break? Uh, will it do the things that I, I knew that it was capable of doing? But if there's a certain acceptance. Do you think that, uh, and speaking of our car clinic listeners and viewers, you, you think the American consumer, the car owners and car buyers are ready to accept these features and understand uh, how great they are and how, how much safety that brings to, and especially uh, as, the, as you get older. I mean, it makes us all better drivers. Yeah, I think uh, what you have to do is establish a level of trust, and that can only be built on experience. So when you describe the car's going to do this automatically and do that automatically, that's kind of hard for drivers to trust. So kind of what has to happen is the technology needs to be there, kind of like a safety net. Uh, and then what, what will eventually happen um, is that you will have a moment where you will be inattentive. And when that happens and the car warns you, oh, you need a break, and you do, that's how you start building the trust. So I think the only way the consumers will really accept this technology is for it to not be intrusive, but to sort of be kind of a quiet layer of protection that uh, you don't really think about until it, it saves you. And when it does, and these newer systems definitely do, you'll be glad that the technology has developed like it has. That's a fine line. We're talking with Micah Musio, managing editor of video for Kelly Blue Book. So the uh, family, the best family cars of 2018, how, how do you and your associates at Kelly Blue Book really put that list together? Yeah, you know, we, we look at, um, at a wide variety of vehicles, but we want to think about, you know, just the different types of families that are out there. There's so many different, you know, uh, sizes and shapes, you know, for families. So we want something that accommodates a wide variety of, of families. So, you know, that's why we've got our compact SUVs. You know, we've got the Chevrolet Equinox and Honda CRV. Um, you know, we recognize that uh, some, you know, families have, like, active outdoor lifestyles. So we've got the Subaru Outback, which, to be honest to me, like, uh, you know, as a kid from the 80s, I used to like the old station wagons, and uh, I think that's as close as we get to a modern station wagon, um, although the Subaru Outback also has standard all-wheel drive and 8.7 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty cool really? for outdoor adventuring. But yeah, so uh, you know that, uh, we've got mid-size SUVs uh, in the form of the Chevy Traverse, Honda Pilots, 
Toyota Highlander, and Volkswagen Atlas. And actually, I'm going to mention the Atlas for just a second because that's a new one that people may not have heard of. Uh, you know, Volkswagen is a little late to the midsize SUV game, but um, they've come in a big way. And I mean that like quite literally. Um, one of the gentlemen who works at Kelly Blue Book with me, he's uh, six foot five, guy named Rich, super nice guy, really tall, always uh, struggles with legroom. He can fit comfortably in the third row of the Volkswagen Atlas. So if, if sheer size is your concern in your midsize, the Atlas is definitely worth a look. Well, I, I can tell you and, and folks, uh, just for your information, uh, and, and I help uh, a lot of the Karkinik not only my Karkinik viewers and listeners, but on the service side of our shop, uh, I volunteered to help spec out their new car purchase. I did this twice this week, and I have to tell you, uh, the options that are available are, are can be mind-boggling, but make no mistake about it, the safety and technology that your list provides, folks, you've got to do this before you can, what is it, crawl before you can walk? Well, in this case, <laughs> you, I, you need to review Micah's list before you even consider going online or going to a dealer to look at a new car. And to that end, Micah, where, where can our listeners and our car clinic viewers find this list? Is it published? Yeah, you know, if you head over to Kelly Blue Books, kbb.com, uh, that's a great place to find our entire list of best family cars for 2018, and really anything if you're buying or selling a car. The great thing about living in the modern era is that you can do a ton of research, not only in terms of uh, the vehicles, but also pricing, and, uh, you know, go to the dealership really well prepared to get a good deal on a car you're going to love. So uh, kbb.com, we're, we're just there to help you make a good decision. Well, hats off to you, and always great to have you in the house, and I just enjoy so much. I'm kind of envious in a way. Here I am, a car guy, uh, of, of all of the new cars and new technology that, that you get to drive and experience and then judge and then share that. And I really appreciate you taking the time to give us an overview and just a, a 30,000 foot view and folks you got to go to kbb.com get this best family cars for 2018 list as a perfect starting point Micah Musio managing editor of video for Kelly Blue Book great job today and thank you so much for joining us on Bobby Likas Car Clinic Bobby thanks for having me I look forward to the next time